Do you wanna run ads for your business without all the effort of creating photos, flyers, or videos? No? Is that just me? Am I lazy? I might be lazy. Nonetheless, Google search ads are a great way to reach the right audiences effectively and efficiently, since the only creative required is ad copy. But that ad copy better be outstanding. I'm talking like top of the test, gold star, just upper right corner. You know what I'm talking about. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to write ads optimized for Google. We'll also be joined by a Google ads expert to get all the tips and tricks. Be sure to check the description and download the ads kit created by HubSpot and Google to master your entire Google ads strategy. And subscribe to this channel and ding the notifications bell to get all the digital marketing updates. All right, so you're gonna meet our Google expert in just a minute. But before that, I wanna tell you a little bit about how Google ads work. Google processes, and wrap your head around this, 3.5 billion searches per day. And Google search continuously maps out the web and other sources to connect you to the most relevant and helpful information. By running Google ads, you can reach customers at the very moment they're looking to discover a product, learn about a new service, or buy something. And you can do so quickly and easily. Because unlike social media platforms where you need captivating visuals to compete with all those food pics and Star Wars memes, Google search ads are almost entirely text-driven, so you can focus solely on creating quality ad copy to get great results. To help with that focus, we spoke to Mario Reese from Google Marketing Solutions to find out what she recommends when creating text for your Google ads. Text ads serve as a way to maintain your ads quickly and easily. They can be impactful without requiring creative resources. All you need are three parts, headline text, a display URL, and description text. According to Google, the standard ad headline is 30 characters and a description text is 90. That's it. That's literally half a tweet. You can probably take a tweet you've already written and make that your Google headline. Is that smart? Don't do that. But shorter isn't always easier. Your Google ads have to be succinct and to the point. There's no room for long, elaborate explanations of your services or examples of your product. You need to hone your value proposition down to just a few words that have an impact. I'm talking laser focus, like you, know, like you gotta freaking, Look at that, it needs to be so defined that you could make a light out of it. That's how good your value proposition has to be. Is this showing up on camera? We asked Mario what to focus on when writing an ad. First, think about how to highlight what makes you unique. Whether it's your free shipping or dazzling variety, tell people. Showcase the products, services, or offers that make you competitive. Then empower customers to take action. Make your products and services easy to purchase with calls to action like order now, sign up, or get a quote. Make it clear what the next steps are. Also, include at least one of your keywords to keep your ads relevant to what people want. Want to see Mario's advice in action? Check out the two ads that came up when we searched for guitar lessons on Google. The first ad for Fender starts by highlighting the reputation for the brand. And when you're the world's largest guitar company, you can flex a little, like this, just like beep. The copy reinforces the idea of authority by spotlighting the quality of their instructors. It also focuses on user needs, such as ease of learning, plus the fact that you can learn thousands of popular songs. Personally, I'd love to learn Into the Thick of It by the Backyard Gins. Not a guitar song, but I don't know, someone should do something about that, I think. Guitartricks.com unfortunately doesn't have a global reputation like Fender, so it relies on social proof instead, mentioning the three million people who have tried the program. The ad copy also uses terms like step-by-step -step and bite-size to convey the ease of their lessons. And there's a nod to buyer protection when stating 60-day guarantee. Each ad has calls to action, including learn to play and try it free today. And you can see the keyword lesson highlighted in the description text. That's Google's way to prove that what you search for is in line with what you got. Would it have been better if the ad specifically said guitar lessons? Well, Google is advanced enough to detect if the words lesson and guitar both appear, just not in the same order. Ads default to this broad match when setting them up, but you can set it to phrase match or exact match if broad match isn't giving you the results you need. So which ad for guitar lessons is more effective? We can't tell you for sure without knowing how much each site is spending on Google advertising. But what we can tell you is that 74% of Fender search traffic comes from paid ads and 26% from organic search. That could mean their ad copy is really good or it could mean their organic search game is really bad. And Guitar Tricks is almost the complete inverse. 
with only 16% coming from ads and 84% coming from organic search. Ultimately, it doesn't matter who's better as long as each company is getting a return on its ads that is greater than what's being spent. Personally, I think they're both doing a great job. So let's get back to creating ad copy for your business. Start making lists of everything that is valuable about your product or service. Then go back and rewrite each value item in as few words as possible. From there, it's easy to assemble your ad copy by stringing together a few value items. Then keep testing variations to figure out which combinations get the lowest cost per click. Google makes this sort of test super easy by offering responsive search ads that do the testing for you. Responsive search ads are an exciting addition to the Google Ads suite. They let you create an ad that adapts to show more text and more relevant messages to your customers. You can set multiple headlines and descriptions, and then Google Ads will test different combinations and learn what performs best for specific customers. A few final pieces of advice on creating great ad copy. One, make sure your landing page matches whatever you're advertising. You can lose a huge percentage of the business generated by your ad if the customer can't immediately find whatever it is they just clicked on. Two, use the Google Search Ads integration with the HubSpot CRM to optimize your targeting and drive high quality leads. And finally, use ad extensions to make ads even easier for users to interact with. You can use ad extensions to provide additional details that can make your ads more relevant. These are helpful because they'll really make your ads stand out. Lead form extensions help you generate leads by letting people submit their information. Call extensions let you include a clickable phone number in your ad. Price extensions showcase offers in detail so people can find what they want more quickly and maybe not click if the price doesn't make sense for them. I saw an ad for a nice pair of Jordans once and I was like, nice. And then I saw the price and I was like, not nice. You almost got me though. Now that you understand a bit about writing the best Google ads, check out our free online digital advertising training at HubSpot Academy to learn more about ad copy, as well as targeting, analytics, and more. And keep watching this channel for more expert tips on how to optimize all your digital marketing. Now, if you don't mind, I'm gonna go fall prey to some clickbait ads. All right, someone has to do it. We all have to be a statistic someday. And you know what? Today's my day. I'll see you next time. Like that, just like, uh, just like that. I could have worn a shirt that makes me look huge, but you know what? It's not about me, it's about the companies.